Hey friends, Matt aka Martin here and today I wanted to do a little bit more of a kind of talking head style video as opposed to the usual tutorial and do a bit of a conversation discussion around whether or not you should go to university to study music production. Before we get into this video, which is going to be a little bit more off the cuff, um, of course, if you like it, feel free to leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new and if you want to support me, if you like the content and all the stuff I do, feel free to head on over to my buy me a coffee where you can buy me a coffee, support the channel, maybe become a member, buy some cool stuff that I put out. And uh, yeah, if you want to support the channel, feel free to head out of that. But let's get into it. This is going to be a bit more of an off the cuff video. I'm going to talk about some points kind of for and against it. And before I start, I just want to give a little bit of a background on me and kind of say that, yes, I'm probably a little bit biased towards this subject. I am a university lecturer. I've been teaching music production and composition at university for the past few years. And I um, also studied music production and composition at university level <laughs> you can kind of see there and I've just kind of submitted my master's as well and uh, it's it's a uh, it's something that's kind of close to me but I know that there's a lot of uh, contention around whether or not you should go to uh, university to study music production I know a lot of people kind of think about that so I wanted to put out a video do a bit of a discussion around it this might be the first in a few videos and uh, you know we'll see if this video even kind of makes it out really. All right. Uh, point one for why I think you should go to university to study music production is that it gives you a structured learning environment. And that's one of the things that kind of the self-directed approach to learning that you might be used to kind of looking at uh, videos on YouTube or anything like that doesn't give you necessarily is that you don't necessarily know where you should go next. You kind of don't know what you don't know. And a university environment gives you that knowing or understanding of where you should go next. The teachers, they will know the courses are structured in such a way, or at least they should be structured in such a way that they kind of guide you step by step through the elements that you should be learning of music production, whether it's starting out with how to use a door, what an audio effect is, MIDI, um, how to use a virtual instrument, EQ, compressors, and then kind of guiding through all the way from like more beginner topics through to more advanced topics later on down the line. But that said, of course, it does give you a structured approach to learning. There are other places where you can get structured approaches to learning like this, such as online courses, but there's things that online courses don't give you, which often is that interactivity with a lot of other people, as well as with your lecturers, as well as kind of expose you to a diverse range of interests and uh, options and opportunities when it comes to your music production and composition. Obviously though, of course, a lot of the things you can learn at a university course or through an, any kind of paid course, you can learn online through some way, shape or form. But again, you don't necessarily know what you don't know. So unless you're kind of actively seeking out these things and you can are really good at self-directed research and learning, it's hard to sometimes find out what, where to go next and what to do next, which is something that I find a lot of people often struggle with. And that's why a lot of people will end up coming to a place like university to uh, learn music production and composition. Now, I also kind of mentioned as well that a university will, or a university course will give you the opportunity to kind of step outside of your comfort zone and experience things that you haven't necessarily uh, experienced before or might not have thought that you might be interested in. As an example, when I went and did my music production and composition degree, I was very, um, I, I was kind of set. I was like, I want to just like make bangers. I want to make EDM tunes and kind of do only that really. And then a few, kind of like half a year into my degree, I kind of changed course completely, right? I had been exposed to so many new ideas, so many new thoughts, ways of thinking, ways of producing, composing, doing stuff. I'd learned a huge amount, which was amazing. Um, but I'd also learned a lot about myself, which had I kind of just gone down this direction of, I want to figure out these things um, in order to support this vision that I have, I probably wouldn't have discovered this stuff that was way more left of field and has shaped me into who I am as a music producer and composer 
today. Uh, it also opened up the doors to me as an educator, which is something that I never thought necessarily I'd be doing, but it's something that throughout the course of actually doing a degree um, and learning more about this stuff that I discovered a huge passion for is educating and teaching, um, which again, had I not done this degree, I wouldn't have actually probably figured that out, maybe until much later, if at all. And also like my music style changed as well, right? Like I went in, as I said, wanting to just kind of make bangers and stuff. And then I started kind of making this more really interesting esoteric stuff and stepping outside of my comfort zone. I made tracks entirely out of white noise and sine waves and did some weird composition stuff where I made pieces that were like really conceptually out there and all that. And again, I probably wouldn't have come up with these ideas had I not been exposed to the possibility of them inside of the university environment. Now, granted, this might not be for you. You might be really gung-ho and set that you want to become like the next Skrillex or someone like that. And that's totally cool. But just know that a university environment will potentially open up doors for you that you didn't even know existed, let alone how to open them yourself. Obviously, though, one thing that a... Uh, university degree gives you is of course a piece of paper as I can you know can kind of see there I've got some pieces of paper on the wall behind me and one thing about these pieces of paper is that they don't necessarily mean a huge amount to potentially like potential employers or anything like that depending on where you're trying to go in the music industry if you're wanting to be a purely a music producer right your portfolio is your piece of paper your a lot your music production experience your tunes that you've worked on all the stuff like that is your piece of paper obviously having a piece of paper is kind of cool and you know something you can put in your biography and stuff like that but it's not necessarily going to be the difference between getting a gig and not getting a gig now for me the pieces of paper opened up the opportunity to actually go and teach at a university and uh, have the opportunities to do that teaching and educating which is something that again I discovered I really really wanted to do and enjoyed and I wouldn't have been able to do that without those pieces of paper but if that's not something you feel like you're potentially interested in in which I've discovered that a lot of people that you go to university are actually kind of potentially interested in teaching as an option, um, then, you know, it, it might, the piece of paper might not necessarily be something that you actually will get you kind of anywhere that you maybe want to be. Of course, being in a university environment, again, this is going to just be really kind of off the cuff. I've just got a few points written down there that I'm just kind of going off here and riffing off of. Um, at a university, you get access to a lot of equipment that you might not otherwise have access to at home, um, especially depending on which university you go to. You, you know, obviously want to check out the facilities and everything like that. Um, you might have access to really good uh, monitors or really good like hardware equipment or um, really fantastic plugins or great computers. The environment, the equipment that you have access to at university level is generally pretty fantastic. Um, and often at, you know, places you can also hire out gear like synthesizers or something like that, which, you know, allow you to learn a whole bunch of really cool stuff. Um, and it just, it, it gives you the freedom to be able to use this equipment, learn it in a way that, you know, you're not kind of worried about, oh man, do I have to actually spend a lot of money in order to be able to do this? Or I have to kind of go out of my way to find this. It's kind of there as just par for the course when you go into a course like this right um but that said of course you are paying for it as well a university degree is expensive now here in australia where i'm from the expense of a university degree if you're a domestic student so you're australian uh you're an australian citizen is not that bad because we have fee help and hex so it kind of just gets lumped into like your tax and you start to pay it back uh when you reach a certain tax threshold and aside from that it's not kind of anything crazy but i know in like the us and stuff you guys have crazy student loans and whatnot which you're much more inclined to have to pay back uh, than we are here in australia so that is another thing to consider as well is whether or not you want that kind of expense on your plate, um, especially if it's something you're gonna have to pay off sooner rather than later. And if 
you are struggling for the money, but you do want to kind of be in that learning environment. There's obviously always financial help and stuff like that for places like this too. And there are online course options that are typically much cheaper than going to a physical campus for something as well. And for something like music production, online options, despite the access to the equipment that you get at something like a physical campus, is not necessarily that bad of a thing, especially if, you know, kind of nowadays, we're just primarily working in digital audio workstations, which are all on the computer anyway. And like, we don't necessarily need to have another computer to work on all that stuff on, unless we're looking at things like using specific expensive plugins or hardware or anything like that. Um, if you want to be in a studio environment, like a physical studio environment, then obviously going to a university is a fantastic place to learn how to be in that studio environment, use that studio environment and get the permission to experiment and fail in that studio environment and learn from that experimentation and that failure rather than in a real world environment where if you fail, it's much harder to get picked back up from that. Another thing that a university offers you is of course access to a community of other like-minded people and a bunch of experts in their field. Um, you're probably going to learn things at university as well, just that a, a little bit left of field. You'll probably learn things about like how sound behaves in an environment, how you know maybe electronics work, how EQs actually work, and all this kind of more esoteric stuff, which is also really interesting and often taught by a variety of different people. And having access to these people is really fantastic. Everyone is an expert in their field and having direct access to these experts without having to pay an extra cent for like one-on-one -on -one sessions or anything like that, which are often bulked into a, uh, a degree structure is really fantastic. It's the teacher's job to help you achieve what you want to achieve and present you with the next steps for where you should be going. Again, if you don't know what you don't know, it's the teacher's, lecturer's, educator's job to make it so that you then know what you don't know so that you can then learn that thing or those things that you don't know. And having access to these experts is really fantastic because they can tell you what it is that you need to know. You can seek out the knowledge from them or they can point you in the direction where you can seek out the knowledge for yourself if you're more of a self-directed learner. And then having access to a community of people who are learning alongside with you, regardless of whether one's like a film composer and one's like an electronic musician and one's like doing some weird art stuff or whatever. Um, and that's another thing, obviously being exposed to all these different uh, types of music is really amazing too. But having this community of people is really a hugely fantastic thing and one of the biggest benefits of being in a university environment, especially if you're studying somewhere that has a few different music degrees and you can kind of access performers. And if you're doing music production and not kind of audio engineering, you can access the audio students as well or the kind of audio teachers or, um, you know, kind of, if you want to do something weird, you could maybe access dancers or visual artists or something like that. This whole community of people is a really fantastic thing to have access to as a student. I guess the kind of final thing as well, uh, because I don't want this to kind of go on too long, and I hope this has been an interesting talk for you, um, is that it really depends what you want to get out of it. And it's also totally fair to go into a university degree kind of not knowing what to expect. And I think that's probably one of the best things. If you go in, it's like, I wanna learn music production. I wanna learn this thing. I wanna learn composition, music production, whatever it is you're going into the university environment for. And not having an idea of what you wanna get out of it is probably one of the better places to be in because you can kind of figure that out along the road. You kind of wanna, get to a point where you know what it is you want to get out of it relatively quickly in, um, but it can help you learn that about yourself. Again, whereas being in a, um, a self-directed learning environment, learning on YouTube or anything like that, it's harder to necessarily know which direction you want to 
going because there are so many options. I mean, back when I learned, it was very self-directed before I went into university um, environment. And that was hard, well, that was easier in a sense because there was a lot of, well, there was, <laughs> sorry, that was easier in a sense because there was less stuff out there but now there are so many music production tutorials out there on the internet you don't know which one is which you don't know which one's telling you the right stuff which one's telling you the wrong stuff granted right and wrong is a whole other topic that we can talk about when it comes to music production um, but you will of course learn the right and conventional ways to do things in a university environment um, but if you kind of don't know what you're trying to get out of and you just kind of getting in all this random knowledge and then not applying it in a self-directed context, you're not really learning anything. But in a university environment, you're taught this stuff. You're given direction for this stuff. You're learning what it is that you want to do. And then you're being forced to apply this knowledge, generally speaking, in a practical and appropriate way for that knowledge, which is then furthering you and developing you as a music producer and a composer or whatever it is you want to be doing, whether it's audio engineer or something else like that as well. Anyway, that's kind of it for this video. It's a little bit of a weird one. I just wanted to kind of get this out there. It's something that uh, I've talked about a lot with a lot of other people. It's something I feel really passionate about as well. Uh, I think that university is a fantastic thing for you to go to for a creative endeavor. There are a lot of people, a lot of kind of gurus out there on the internet who will say, no, you shouldn't go to university for music production because it's bad. You can learn all this stuff for free, etc., etc., etc. But it really depends on who you are as a person. If you are a self-directed learner and you are really fantastic at self-directed learning, sure, don't go to university. That's fine. You, you can get all of that information that you need out there for free on the internet or you can pay a few hundred dollars for a course or something like that to help further you along in a little bit more of a structured way. But if you have no idea where to go next and you know you want to do this music production thing and you know you want to like learn how to make music, how to compose music, whatever it is, but you don't know where to start and maybe you're kind of doubting your abilities a little bit and you're seeing all these people out there on the internet that are just like, you know, doing wild things, etc. Maybe a university degree is for you. Maybe try it out, especially if you can get into one pretty easily. Again, I know here in Australia, it's much easier to get into a kind of higher education degree um, for you know financial reasons than it is potentially somewhere else. But um, yeah, if you're one of those people who struggles with self-directed learning and needs that more structured approach, then definitely a university course could be more helpful for you in that regard. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like down below and let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm happy to discuss this further, whether or not you've been to university and studied music production, if it was the right decision for you um, or not. Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And yeah, feel free to check out one of my speaking of tutorials and free learning tutorials here. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. See ya.